Algebra 2, this is Chapter 5, Section 7. This is the second of seven videos in the series. And this is Example 1. Um, so we're just rewriting this in radical form. So 1 6 power just means the sixth root of A. So 1 half power, 1 half would mean the square root of M. 1 fifth power would be the fifth root of G. Going the other direction, the fourth root of B would be B to the one fourth power. One, uh, the square root of W would be W to the one half power. And the third root of Y would be Y to the one third power. Now you got the letters, let's move on to numbers. So 49 to the one-half power would be the same thing as the square root of 49, which would be 7. 49 to the negative one-half power, remember what negative powers do, that puts it underneath the fraction with a 1 on top, so that's going to be the same thing as 1 seventh. So 16 to the one-fourth power, um, again, hopefully you're recognizing this is 2 to the 4th. Right off, you go 16, oh, that's 2 to the 4th. And so the, uh, this would be 16 to the 1 4th root, or 4th root of 16, 1 4th power. So this would just be a 2. And so if I make it negative, that's going to be 1 half. This is basically the ugliest way you could possibly write 1 half. And the last one down here. So 1 3rd power. And again, hopefully you've remembered that 3 to the 3rd is 27. So to the 1 3rd power would just be 3. And if you need that extra step of writing this as the cube root of 27, and then rewriting this as the cube root of 3 times 3 times 3, whatever you need to do, at some point you need to get to the point of, oh, 27 to 1 3rd power, that's 3. Okay, so that's all of example 1 of the easy stuff. Now we're going to move to example one of the harder stuff. So the top is going to be your, your exponent. The bottom is going to be the index on your radical. So this is still m, and the m is going to be squared, but this is going to be the cube root of it. Let's look at another one here. So to the 2 fourth power, this is going to be r squared and to the fourth power. Or this is r to the 1 half power, which is also just the square root of r. This last answer is the best possible answer. These other ones are just on their way there. So s to the 8 fifth power. Ooh, it's getting uglier and uglier every time we look at this thing. So this is going to be s to the 5 fifths times s to the 3 fifths. And this is probably the easiest way for you to look at this. So 5 fifths is just 1. So that's going to be a, an s. And then we're going to have the fifth root of s to the third. And that's going to be it completely reduced. Now those are weird. Um, I could also look at let me look at it a different way. Um, so I could write this as the fifth root of s to the eighth, and that would be equal to the fifth root of s to the fifth times s to the third, which is still equal to s and then the fifth root of s to the third. So whichever way you look at it, you're still going to end up with the same answer. It might be easier to simplify your fraction on the outside, though. So 6 ninths, 6 ninths reduces. So this is going to be both divisible by 3. So that's going to be a 2 thirds. And so then this is going to be, putting it back into a radical, um, 3 on the outside and p squared on the inside. And the last one on this page is 5 thirds. 
So this is going to be the fifth root of y to the third. And I know 5 thirds is in its reduced form. So I kind of, I'm going to reduce my fraction, and then I'm going to put it into the radical form. So last few examples here, 32 to the 2 fifths power. Um, not sure how you want to go about this one. I'm going to rewrite this as, um, well, I know 32 is 2 to the fifth. And then that's going to be to the 2 fifths power. And when you take an exponent to an exponent, you would multiply. So this would be um, 2 to the 5 times 2 fifths, which would be equal to 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Um, do I have room here? i got a little bit of room. Let me do this another way. So this would also be equal to the fifth root of 32 squared. I still need to know that 32 is 2 to the fifth. So this is going to be equal to the fifth root of um, 2 to the fifth times 2 to the fifth. which is going to be equal to the fifth root of 2 to the tenth. And yeah, I am going somewhere. This is equal to the fifth root of 2 to the 2 squared to the fifth. And there I have my fifth root and my fifth exponent. So this is equal to 2 squared, which is equal to 4. And it's kind of whatever way you see the patterns best works. But you really have to be good at fractions in order to do this stuff. Because I usually keep it in fraction the whole way through. I don't rewrite all of this long line here. Let's look at another one of those. So 16, I know, is 2 to the 4th. So this is 2 to the 4th to the 3 fourths power. An exponent to an exponent, again, you're multiplying them. So I'm taking 4 times 3 fourths. And 4 times 3 fourths for the fourths cancel. So this is equal to 2 cubed, which is equal to 8. And again, memorizing your, your 2 to the first is 2, 2 squared is 4, 2 to the third is 8, 2 to the fourth is 16, 2 to the fifth is 32, 2 to the um, sixth is 64. Um, just keep going up and memorizing them because you need them. And the faster you can get them out of your memory, the easier these problems get. Okay, 243, not as easy on this one. So you might need to grab your calculator. And you know 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 3 is um, 9. So this whole thing is divisible by 9. So if I take 243 and divide by 9, I end up with 27. So it's 9 times 27. And I know this is 3 squared. This is 3 cubed. So this thing is 3 to the fifth to the 3 fifths power. Okay, so I'm using my divisibility rules from pre-algebra to help factor this thing into its prime factorization so that I can then deal with my Algebra 2 stuff. So 5 times 3 fifths, the 5's cancel and you end up with 3 cubed, and so you're back at 27. Hey, we've got some negatives here. So a negative 32 to the 3 fifths power. Did we have something similar to this? I got a 3 fifths to the 2 fifths power. So not quite. So I'm going to have a negative sign. And I'm just going to hold on to my negative sign till the end, I think. And so then I'm going to have 32, which I know is 2 to the fifth. Again, that's one of the ones I've memorized. And that's going to be to the negative 3 fifths power. And if you want to put that negative on there, you can. Um, so the negative sign, remember, puts it in a fraction under 1. And then 5 times, and divided by 5 is 1, so this is going to be 2 cubed. We still have our negative sign on there. And then this is going to be a negative cubed. Remember, the negative is part of the cubing. A negative cubed is still a negative, so this is 1 over 8, and it's going to be negative 1 eighth. And the last one, b to the m over n. This is actually your concept, your key concept on this one. So that becomes b 
to the nth root, and that's going to be an m exponent on there. So the bottom becomes your what is your index on your radical, and the m, the top part, becomes your um, power.